Devolution was meant to bring development closer to the people. However, eight years since its inception, that vision is yet to be realized. <laughs> Commission on Revenue Allocation Chair Jane Kiringai attributing the obtaining situation to overspending on recurrent expenditure and the declining percentage of the shareable revenue reserved for county administrations. In 2016, the equitable share we transferred to county governments was equivalent to 23% of shareable revenues. Starting then, this proportion has been declining, and by last year, uh, by this year, it's dropped to 17% from 23 to 17%. That's a six percentage drop in the share of equitable transfer that you take sent into the counties. The commission initiating a county credit worthiness program aimed at providing a new dawn for county financing by helping counties improve their credit worthiness for better ratings when borrowing funds for development. This whole rating program provides an objective framework that oversight institutions can tap into to determine or assess a county's readiness to access the capital markets. Ten counties selected to be part of the initiative were taken through a series of steps, after which Kisumu, Bungoma and Makwini counties were credit rated. The findings of the rating will enable county governments to chart new paths of institutional development after nearly one decade of devolution in Kenya. One of the most critical things was not actually the end result of our ability to borrow from the private sector through uh, capital markets. But when this was an, an explained to me, particularly by the Minister for Finance, I realized that this was another window to get our financial management under scrutiny. We must find, we must find a way of alternative funding and going the financial markets to raise long-term funds for long-term projects. Senate Speaker Kenneth Lusaka cautioning county chiefs against overspending, overtaxing and overborrowing. I want to urge you to temper the possibility of access with physical discipline regardless of the intergovernmental structures of borrowing. Do not be inclined to overspend, undertax and borrow excessively. In the long-term credit rating scores, Makwini and Bungoma counties returned a triple B score with Kisumu managing a double B score. Well done. Well done. All right. yes. Meanwhile, control of budget, Dr. Margaret Nyakongo is challenging county assemblies to play more proactive roles in the oversighting respective county executives. Speaking in Naro County, Nyakango said it was imperative for county assemblies to ensure due diligence in the utilization of public funds. The county assemblies provide oversight on a running basis and they are there right from the beginning to ensure that the budgets that are passed by the counties agree with the priorities within those counties. For Channel 1 News, I'm Safin Aching Omar.